In this problem, we are given information about the price P of an iPod and the weekly demand S in thousands. There is a functional relationship between the price of the iPod P and the weekly demand S. Part A, we're asked to find the linear model that best fits this data using regression and enter the model below. We're told to round the linear parameter value to the nearest hundredth or two decimal places. This would be the slope and the constant parameter to the nearest one, which would be the vertical intercept. The first step is to enter the data into the calculator. To do this, we press STAT, ENTER. To save time, I've already entered the data. Notice in L1 we have the price P, in L2 we have the weekly demand S. This problem doesn't ask us for the scatter plot, but let's go ahead and graph it. The first step is to adjust the window so these values will show on the coordinate plane. And because it's also nice to have the origin show, if we press the window key, notice how I scaled the x-axis, which is really the p-axis, from negative 40 to 300 by 50s, because the maximum price P is 250. I also scaled the y-axis, which is really the s-axis, from negative 40 to 300 by 50s, because the maximum demand is 207. So all these values will now show on the coordinate plane. The next step is to turn the stat plot on. To do this, we press second y equals. And notice how plot one is already on, but if it was off, we would press enter, highlight on, press enter, and notice L1 is the x list, L2 is the y list, and the points will show up as blue squares. So now if we press graph, we have the scatter plot. And now let's perform the linear regression. So we'll go back to the home screen by pressing second mode, press stat, right arrow once to the calculation menu, and option four for linear regression. And again, notice L1 is the X list, L2 is the Y list. We don't use the frequency list, but if we go down to store regression equation, if we enter Y1 here, the regression equation will automatically be stored in Y1. So let's do this. Let's press VARS, right arrow, enter, enter, which brings up Y1. And then we press the down arrow to calculate and press enter. Notice A is the slope and B is the vertical intercept. Again, we're told to round the slope to two decimal places and therefore A is going to round to negative 0 0.40 and we're told to round B to the nearest whole number, B rounds to 270. Which means S, which is really a function of P, which we can also give as T of P, is equal to negative 0.40P plus 270. Be sure to enter P here because P is the input variable. And we could also just give the slope as negative 0.4 if we wanted. Part B, the squared correlation coefficient was what? compared to 0 0.95. So going back to the calculator, notice R squared is approximately 0 0.94, and therefore it's less than 0 0.95. So we'll say less than here. We could also say below. Just in case R squared is not showing up for you, you need to turn the diagnostic feature on. To do this, we press second zero for the catalog, and then scroll down to diagnostic on, which is here, press enter, enter again, and then run the regression again. For part C, what does the model predict will be the weekly demand if the price is $189? They're telling us the price P is equal to 189, and therefore to determine the weekly demand, we need to find T of 189. So T of 189, using the model is equal to negative 0 0.4 times 189 plus 270. Just keep in mind, this gives us the weekly demand in thousands. So going back to the calculator, we enter negative 0 0.4 times 189 and then plus 270, enter, which gives us 194.4. But this is 194.4 thousand, which we're asked to round to the nearest hundred. So to convert this, 
we multiply 194.4 times 1,000, which is equal to 194,400. And this is already run into the hundreds place value, and therefore this is the value we enter for part C. The prediction will be the weekly demand will be 194,400 iPods if the price is $189. Men part D, according to the model, what should the price be in order to have a weekly demand of 173,800 iPods? Remember the function value T of P is in thousands and therefore they're telling us T of P is equal to 173.8. So we substitute 173.8 for T of P, and then solve for P. So performing the substitution, we would have 173.8 equals negative 0.4 P plus 270. This is a linear equation. To solve for P, we subtract 270 on both sides. This difference is negative 96.2, and this is equal to, on the right, this is zero, so we have negative 0.4p. Divide both sides by negative 0.4. Simplifying on the right first, this simplifies to one p, or just p. So p is equal to this quotient here. Going to the calculator, negative 96.2 divided by negative 0.4 is equal to 240.5. But we are told to round to the nearest dollar, and therefore this will round up to $241. So according to the model, if we set the price at $241, the weekly demand will be 173,800 iPods. I hope you found this helpful.